Hello everyone, I'm Yu Hao, a PhD candidate from Beijing University of Post and Thailand Communications. Today, I'm presenting the work done with my co-authors from Beijing University of Post and Thailand Communications, Monash University, the Hong Kong Polytechnic University, and Peking University. Our work focuses on demystifying illegal mobile gambling apps. This finger shows the online casino law for operators, and you can see that only few countries are green, which means gambling are not banned. In most other countries, gambling are under strict regulations, even commonly banned in many countries with purple color. This is the gambling policy page of Google Play. According to it, gambling apps are only permitted in several countries. Also in these countries, gambling apps are allowed with strict conditions. So on the strict regulations, how gambling apps are different from other apps. To understand the ecosystem of illegal gambling apps, we first conduct a preliminary study to understand the major players of the the first part is the corresponding gambling websites, where you can download gambling apps. Besides, there are also some unique distribution platforms for downloading. As for the developers, they usually created a number of gambling apps with templates, which connected to different web servers because these servers would be blocked from time to time. In addition, many third-party services like payment services are also widely used. To understand the ecosystem of gambling apps better and characterize them, our study is driven by the following research questions. To what extent are gambling apps distributed in the world, and how are they penetrated? What are the characteristics of gambling apps? Can we infer the underground campaigns behind illegal gambling apps so as to uncover more of such apps? And first, let's collect some gambling apps. As we said, illegal gambling apps can be downloaded from the corresponding websites, so we decide an effective method to download them from gambling websites. It contains two steps. Identifying illegal online gambling websites and then download its apps. To get more gambling websites, we obtain the DNS data from a major ISP in China. With this data, firstly, we filter the domains using the ICP licenses and the Alex top list. Then we call the remaining domains. After filtering them, we use an SVM classifier to identify illegal gambling websites. Finally, we download the apps from them. This table shows an overview of our data site. None of them are in Android Zoo, which contains over 10 million apps from Google Play and third party markets. So, how could these apps be distributed? In fact, different from ordinary apps distributed via markets, gambling apps use hidden download websites. Besides illegal gambling websites, you can also download gambling apps from them. We classified these websites into two types, type 1 and type 2. According to their domains, we define type 1 use the same domains as illegal gambling websites. Type 2 have their own domains. And the relation graphs and this table shown. Some app and websites not are pretty dense, suggest that they are highly related. And the top distribution channels have a lot of gambling apps. In these websites, we noticed that some third-party app distribution channels are abused by gambling apps. So we crawled all these download websites and manually analyzed them. We found that over 50 download services are common services, which can be used by any apps. They are used by more than 400 illegal gambling apps. Next, let's characterize gambling apps. We analyze them from four perspectives, network infrastructure, malicious behaviors, 
third-party services and payment services. The first one is network infrastructure. We found that Gambling Amps usually use a lot of different servers. A type called Gambling Amps like this one will use a number of different domains for many different functions, such as data processing, resource loading, and gambling game main services. So we must collect all the network traffic for gambling apps. To be specific, we use Dropbox running on real devices to do that. We use TCP dump to record the network traffic and net state to distinguish the traffic from other apps. We also record the screen cap and UI information. After that, we filled the domains with a domain list from common Android apps. Finally, we got over 10,000 domains. Based on this date, we can characterize the network infrastructure. At first, we observe the top-level domains. You can see the most gambling apps rely on traditional generic TLDs such as .com and .night. They are the most popular. However, for lower price and low regulation, many gambling apps also choose new generic TLDs such as .xyz and .app, and special country code TLDs like .cc and .me. The next is IP. We use the Qihu passive DNS and various total to collect IP addresses. Then we use IP to ASN mapping tables to get the ASNs. As this illegal company apps target Chinese users, over 40% of IPs are in mainland China. This result partly suggests that the effectiveness of gambling service regulation. Besides, over 15% of IPs are outside mainland China. Some regions have less regulations on gambling services. We next analyze the domains, registrants, and registrars by the who is records. As for registrars, also the most popular registrar is GoDaddy.com. Many Chinese registrars like Alibaba are favorite. Among the registration emails, almost all of them have privacy settings, so we can't get any useful information. The next character is malicious purpose. We use various total to identify potential malicious gambling apps and a class or sign a more family name. As we can see in the first line of this table, the gam this gambling app is a more reported by 20 antivirus engines, which belongs to the Boga family. In fact, some gambling apps can also serve for malicious purpose, but the percentage is not high. We also analyze third-party services are used. The first is third-party domains. We use domains of apps from app markets and the Alex top list to build the third-party domains list, so we can use it to find third-party domains. We manually labeled the third-party domains used by illegal gambling apps, and we found that many development services are used, such as bug collection, third-party push notification services. Secondly, we used the rebreather to identify the third-party third libraries in gambling apps. As expected, development aid libraries are also widely used which could make development easier. The names used by gambling apps make it difficult for us to analyze the real, real servers. We use the Qihu passive DNS to collect the same name of gambling apps domains. Then we infer the purpose of them from their names. You can see WAF, CDN, and NTDDOS, but there are also some domains we can't know their functions from their meaningless names. In a word, gambling apps use many kinds of third party services by their names. Finally, we analyze the payment service, which is one of the most essential parts. To evade the provision, local gambling apps usually choose hidden 
payment channels, the first party payment services. In one company apps, users can choose one from many first party payment services. These services have their own payment page, which are based on traditional third party payment services like Alipay. These fourth party payment services are based on traditional third party payment services, but different. In the traditional payment services, users pay, will pay money directly to the merchant, but the first party payment services provide many virtual merchants. Users also pay money through third party payment services, but the merchants are not the gambling websites, but some virtual merchants, so the money flows are difficult to track. Analyze the first party payment services used by the gambling apps. We manually analyze the 10 gambling apps. Surprisingly, these 10 apps have used in total 44 first party payment services. They often provide different payment methods based on traditional third party payment services, such as Alipay, WeChat Pay, Union Pay, eBank, QQ Pay, and JD Pay. By placing orders but not making actual payment, we could automatically collect the virtual payment accounts. As you can see, every payment platform uses many accounts to collect payments. In our preliminary research, we found that many gambling apps have similar UI structures. For example, these three gambling apps are almost identical. Thus, we wonder whether they are operated by the same groups and created by templates. And can we find more gambling apps by analyzing their re relationships? To analyze the code level similarities between apps, we use the FS trial code to make pair with conversions between all apps. Then we use the dbscan algorithm to cluster them. Finally, over 3,000 gambling apps can be clustered into about 190 groups. This re result suggests that gambling apps are really operated in groups indeed. Then we propose a guilt by association expansion methods to identify new gambling services and apps. We firstly discover more gambling services based on the subject alternative name in the HTTPS certifications. By collecting HTTPS certifications using various total, we found many new domains, just like it's showing in this finger. Then we analyze the app developer signatures, removing the common keys like the test key from the AOSB project. We got over 1,000 private signatures, and then we use them to search on Kudus, which is a mobile app database, allowing to search by developer signatures. Using these two methods, we found over 140,000 new domains and over 41,000 new apps by manually verifying. Most of them are gambling services and apps and there are also some malicious apps. In the end, our work suggests these three conclusions. And by the way, we have released our database and our websites. Thanks for your listening. Any kind of collaboration is welcome. Feel free to contact me or my advisor, Hao Yuwang, at Beijing University of Post and Telecommunications. Here's our contact information.